Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the prototype for Sisterhood of the Blood. Uh, this is a Kickstarter currently on Kickstarter right now, and it's being produced by 52 Ravens, which is Kirk Slater. Kirk Slater, he's based out in the UK. You might remember uh, he had an earlier project, uh, Coven, which did really well. It was successfully funded. And so this is his next deck in that series. This is Sisterhood of the Blood, and it has a vampiric theme. This prototype here, this was done from MPC, which is makeplaincards.com. It's a great place to get a prototype made. But should this deck get funded, it will get printed by Expert Playing Card Company on their classic finish stock. As you can see, the back design has a very gothic appearance. Uh, it's done in really dark grays and that blood red. You got some symbols there and some glyphs, and it really does carry the whole idea of a deck devoted to vampires. With this deck, you're gonna get two Diptic Jokers. Since this is a 52 Ravens deck, it has jokers that appear to be a raven when you stick them together. However, uh, the raven is formed from blood splatter, which is pretty cool. Pips and Indice cards have a faint, uh, distressed appearance, almost like uh, uh, old worn paper. There's also a faded watermark in the center of each one. Uh, the pips also follow the standard position, but they're slightly smaller and the layout is condensed compared to what you'd call a standard deck of cards. Now the court cards in this deck are really what this deck is all about. Each girl, each vampire is a friend or a contributor uh, to this deck and they all follow the very traditional court card theme. So in other words, the Suicide King is still a Suicide King. The One-Eyed Jacks are still the One-Eyed Jacks. And for the most part, they all carry the weapons that you would be familiar with. Uh, each one of these girls, each one of these different vampires has their own unique story to tell and their name is written on the sides of each card. And as the namesake implies, Sisterhood of the Blood, uh, all the courts are females and together they become the Sisterhood. Another really cool thing to note about these courts, uh, the black court cards, the girls all have black hair and black features and the red court cards, the girls all have red hair and red features. Also with the courts, each one of these girls has a story to tell. If you notice, all the jacks, uh, they all depict vampires that have just fed. All of the queens strike a very haunting, very maliceful pose. And all the kings seem to be coming to the end of their life. Of course, you can also stay up to date on all the information about 52 Ravens. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at dot com slash 52 Ravens. All right, so that is our review for the Sisterhood of the Blood Kickstarter currently on Kickstarter. And if you like this deck, I would highly recommend go down to Kickstarter and give Kirk Slater your support. And I want to thank Kirk Slater for sending me this prototype deck so that I can review it for you. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.